My personal history with lower back problems is extensive. And I think if you have any sort of a lower back thing going on or even like mid thoracic back and any sort of hip issue, these exercises are gonna help a ton with that. So go check it out. Exercise number one to help with any sort of lower back discomfort or pain you might be having to speed up those medical processes that they'll give you is this what I call knees to elbows. Now for someone who's healthy, this is also a great exercise, but you're gonna wanna take it really easy, go nice and slow with this one. So bend both knees, awesome. And then all I want you to do is just very, very gently lift your knees off the table, just barely, just barely, yeah. And just hold that, now slowly bring them up. So this is a long setup for this. Now that's not bad, right? You can hold that. Yep. Try to activate these lower abdominal muscles, you feel that? Yep. Cool, now bring your arms up and cross them like this, like you're doing uh, almost like a Wakanda, but you're straight, right? Wakanda forever. And then nice and gentle, bring your elbows to come match. Cool, and that's really hard, right? Yep. Bring this down. So number one thing with priming, if it gets really intense, reduce the range of motion. And check this out, I'll show you guys the easiest way to do this. Bring this down. I don't even want you to lift completely off the table. Just lift about 50% of the body weight here. Awesome, and lift about 50% of the body weight here. Boom. Now you're gonna be feeling these abdominal muscles. This looks really easy. This is not easy, is it? This is like way harder than it looks. The goal, again, just sensitivity. Let's feel these muscles. So we've got abs going on here, his low abs. We've got his upper abs and everything in between. And the goal is to feel, if you were the, the guys in the movie 300, like Leonidas. <laughs> can you feel every single layer of abdominal muscle? And if you're ticklish and a friend does this to you, it's really screwed up, right? Anyways, and then gently relax. Remember, six or seven out of 10 intensity, and then 30 seconds if you can make it that long. The second exercise for alleviating lower back issues fast is lifting your big toe. This muscle actually goes all the way up your foot into the front of your shin. Go ahead and try to lift just your big toe, Justin. Oh, he's actually doing a pretty good job. If you guys can do that good of a job, I'll be very impressed. Now, you don't have to restrict the movement of the rest of your toes. Remember, the goal with priming is not to match it, not to make it look perfect. It's to feel the muscles. So go ahead and lift your foot a little bit. Does that help? Feel it more? And then you're just trying to feel this line. And remember, becoming an expert or becoming really great at priming and honestly preventing injuries for the rest of your life is about feeling what you want to feel in any exercise in any position. So remember, six or seven out of 10 intensity, 30 second holds, three times if you can. Nice and slow, bring that down. Exercise numero tres is knee extension. Justin, go ahead and lock this knee out. Boom. And then all I want you to do is just pretend to raise your leg off the table. Boom, you feel that intensity? Oh, yeah. Love that, we're just gonna hold that. This is one of the most important exercises you can do on a day-to-day -day basis, and there's a lot of cool ways to do this, like standing, we'll show that later. Keep that locked out, nice and easy. Trying to feel the inside quad muscle, the middle quad muscle, and the outside quad muscle here, all evenly. Now remember, the better you get at this exercise, the less intense it needs to be. So squeeze less, but continue to try feeling it. The goal is to get every exercise to the point where you can hold like 1% intensity and still feel those muscles working. Six or seven out of 10 by the end of the exercise, 30 seconds, three times. So if you don't have a fancy table like this or a headrest where you're doing your priming exercises and you're doing them on the ground like this, I'm gonna show you guys a quick way to be able to do this on the ground, on a yoga mat, wherever you are. So Justin, is this comfortable? No. No, not at all. And if you have no. neck injuries, it's just gonna make it worse. So go ahead and bring both arms up into like a triangle formation in front of your head. Yeah, and just enough room to where, as long as you don't have a giant nose like mine, you'll just be able to rest your forehead on the hands and it's gonna be super comfortable and just kind of play with that until something feels good for you. Exercise number four is gonna be rhomboids, mid trap, kind of this whole back area. All I want you to do is try to lift your shoulder blades to your spine. So pinch these together and lift these up off the table or the ground or whatever you're doing. Nice, nice, hold that there, beautiful. What we're trying to feel here are these muscles all along the back of your shoulder blade and then nice and along the spine. I'm just trying to make them feel symmetrical side to side. You can do this one at a time, it's pretty challenging. So if you feel like you're a master primer, go ahead and try that. But doing them both at the same time can be very revealing as well. 
and slowly bring it down. So we're going six or seven out of 10 intensity, 30 seconds, three times. Make sure you do both sides. Exercise number five is very important. If you have a lower back issue, be very careful with this exercise. It's extremely important to do this one. Go ahead and raise this up nice and gentle. Beautiful, rotate, don't go too high. Bring this down just a little bit. So you're not going as high as you can. I would say about 50% range of motion. And then nice and gentle, rotate your body that way, right there, right there, not too far. And what we're trying to do is we're trying to accentuate the sensitivity on the, this side, whichever side you're rotating towards. So he's got his right side elevated. So right side's the one we're working on here primarily. Everything in your body is gonna work to support this. We're trying to feel each spinal muscle here along his spine. And if that shoulder blade pinches, it's gonna assist a little bit. Beautiful, six or seven out of 10 intensity. 30 seconds hold if you can. Make sure you do both sides. Nice and gentle, bring it down. I totally know what it feels like to have lower back problems and pain, so I really hope these exercises helped you guys. Make sure you do them consistently. Make sure you're doing these at least three times a week, if not just a little bit every day. Do some in the car, do some standing before you get out of bed in the morning, and I hope it helps. Yo guys, thank you so much for watching. This is Skip Kelly. You've been doing some priming work. Now there's a big overarching concept here with priming, and that is Priming is a never ending story. Yes, your injury may go away. Yes, you are completely recovered, but tender love and care for your body is a full time gig. And it's something that we need to do a little bit every day. You don't have to lay down and do like fancy priming and you don't necessarily have to go to a gym and lift heavy weights, but you should pay attention to your body and tune into your muscles and say like what's up to them occasionally. And I like to do a little bit every day. So whether that's the finger exercises or something, if you've looked at one of these videos, go ahead and take a look at some of the other videos in the playlist. And I'm gonna be putting out regular content for you guys to see and just keep getting more education about how to take care of your body physically. And I wanted to introduce you to two really important people that help this all come together, Chris and Justin. So if you notice, Justin's the one I've been tickling all the time and Chris is the guy who's been behind the camera making sure I'm not screwing up and calling me out when I do really, really bad things. So thank you guys for watching and see you in the next one.